with over 153,000 people dying each day. Death is something everyone has to experience. So what actually happens to your body when you die? Well, as you're no longer breathing, oxygen in the body depletes, the brain stops functioning, so hormones are no longer secreted and bodily functions cease. The heart is no longer pumping blood around the body, so gravity causes the blood flow to go down to the lowest part of the body, giving the person a pale look. Around 3-6 to six hours after death, rigor mortis takes place. The leakage of cells causes calcium ions to bind to proteins responsible for muscle contraction. With no ATP left, the muscles stay contracted, causing stiffness all over the body. The rate at which rigor mortis occurs is affected by age, gender and the environment. Enzymes within the cell begin to go into super cannibal mode and eat away at the cells until they rupture out consuming their surroundings and aiding in the decaying process. Alongside this, 100 trillion microbes in our body begin to eat away at the organs. This is known as putrefaction. The internal decomposition of our organs by the bacteria produces a distinct smell that attracts insects such as blowflies and mites. The blowfly lay eggs, the eggs produce larvae which eat away at the body for weeks, creating holes in the body for which the cellular fluid and gases leak out from. The next stage is known as dry decay, where beetle larvae, fungi and other microorganisms feed off the body. This stage can take around 20 to 50 days. The rate of decay is subject to many factors such as temperature, soil and pH. In acidic soil condition, the skeleton is subject to decompose quickly. In neutral or basic conditions, the skeleton can remain in good condition for centuries. That is if small animals don't get to the skeleton first. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.